Currently, in the field of autism, there are no biomarkers. Uh, and we are excited about this because this is something that we see at six months of life. It's readily observable in a clinical MRI scan that you can have at any hospital. Uh, and, uh, you know, it is highly predictive of whether a child is going to go on to have autism or not. In the old days, we used to think that, have, that cerebral spinal fluid was simply a shock absorber, that it surrounded the brain and it protected it in case you were to hit it against something so that the brain wouldn't be damaged. We now know that the cerebral spinal fluid is really complex and it's doing a whole series of functions. So for example, it looks like it carries uh, substances that are important for brain development early on from one part of the brain to the other. But maybe even more importantly, it, we now know that the cerebral spinal fluid and this whole flow of cerebral spinal fluid takes away toxic substances that might actually damage the brain. So it may be the case that the fact that these kids have increased extraaxial fluid is a sign that the system is not working properly. This is one of the very rare occurrences of where a putative a potential biomarker is, that, uh, is uh, exactly replicated in a follow-up study. So that's why we're extremely excited about this. Mm -hmm.